What's up, my fellow kids? Unfortunately, Zimri couldn't be here today. He's out. Side. My name is Memory Zayfield. Welcome to Design Time. Let's just get started. Memory, what are you doing? I gotta go. What's up, Design Champions? Sorry about Memory. Uh, he's my editor. He's been trying to take my job for a long time. Long time. He's okay. My name is Emory Mayfield. Welcome to Design Time. It's back. Let's find a medium for today's project. Okay, we're gonna make a flyer. We are going to make a flyer for what? A flyer for what? That's the question. That is the question. <laughs> a crazy donut shop. Okay, we're gonna make a flyer for a crazy donut shop. Let's get started. Okay, first off, we gotta figure out the dimensions of the flyer we're gonna use, and then we need to figure out what kind of color scheme and theme we want, which I think will be pretty clear if it's a crazy donut shop. We gotta make it a little bit crazy with some fun illustrated typography. And then the third thing I gotta do is probably I gotta find some free stock photos of donuts and then cut them out and then try to customize them to make them a little bit crazier. Maybe we can add uh, we can add stuff that we cut out from other things onto the donuts. So that's what I'm gonna do. Because I love donuts. I love donuts. I genuinely 100% love donuts. Okay, here's a few Tipper McTippersons when you're cutting something out. Number one, what I like to do is, I never use like the pen tool or anything, I just erase. I literally just erase around. And if you wanna um, make it so that you're not changing anything permanently, then just make an extra copy of, of the main image. It's totally fine. Erasing is phenomenal, and I'll tell you why. And when you use the pen tool and you cut around, you make a selection, right? And then you cut out that selection. The edges are gonna be really hard and kind of pixelated. So then usually you have to go and feather the edges, whatever. When you use the erase tool, then you can have the edges of the erase already be soft. So you can skip that step. And then with the eraser, you can have just a lot more control and you can already see what the final product will look like when you're doing it. When you're using the pen tool and just selecting, you're kind of hoping it'll look a certain way, but you don't really know. So when you use the erase tool, it's super easy. One thing that I do in particular is when I'm erasing, normally you would see just the gray and white checkered background. That makes it a little bit hard to know what you're doing. So what I do is I choose a color that's not part of the image at all. So I usually go with like a bright red or bright green and I just make a box below that layer. So then when I'm erasing on this, I can see where I've erased and not. Um, I've found that this is for me, the fastest, um, most high quality way to cut out an object. Okay, so I have all my donuts cut out now. Let's see, I chose that guy, that guy. Um, this mm, sir, this sir, oh, I need to cut out the middles. It's another thing, don't forget little pockets when you're cutting out objects. Um, and then this guy, <laughs> he's super cute. Um, hopefully they'll all look good in a minute. Okay, catch you later, alligator. My favorite donut is a maple bar. I'm trying to think of something that rhymes with maple bar, all I can think of is staple far. Yeah, that was good. Wow. Sick rhyme skills, Zim. Thank you. Thank you very much, Design Champions. I've got all my donuts cut out, put onto my flyer in Photoshop, and I actually went through and adjusted all their levels and hue saturation just to make them a little bit more appetizing and also fit with the kind of muted slash a little bit energetic feel of the flyer. And I made sure that I'm working in C, M, Y, K instead of RGB so that everything looks okay when we print it. 
And uh, yeah, I've been thinking, how can I print a flyer? I think I can do it at Staples. So I'm gonna go down there later and get it printed. Now I need to draw some typography. Crazy donut. And I'm just gonna do it with my new Wacom tablet. Oh, not so new anymore. I've had it for a couple months, but I feel like it's new because I was working for years with that Wacom tablet. And oh, so great, that's yeah, so great. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm like a real, I'm like a real designer almost. I'm gonna get started on that text, try to make it big, readable, but not too in your face so that the focus is still on the donut. Well, they say that I'm crazy, and I say that I'm normal. Let's pick a half a dozen on our way down to the formal. We'll pass them out to all our friends, make them feel the love again. Yeah, I got the jelly filled for my friend named Fred and Phil. And I got the maple bar for Diane, she's in the car. And I got the powdered ones for my father and his son. This is real life. Hello, Mr. Anderson, they pick them in the back, then they put them on the rack. I'll take half a dozen of the ones up in the stack. Do you have a couple others for my four older brothers or a chocolate covered bro? For my soccer team goes, you can add some bacon and you can add some Pringles. They say that I'm crazy, well I say that I'm normal. Let's pick up half a dozen on our way down to the formal. We'll pass them out to all our friends, make them feel the love again. Pass them out to all our friends, make them feel the love again. The jelly fill for my friend named Fred and Phil And I got the maple bar for Diane, she's in the car And I got the powdered ones for my father and his sons This is real life, hello Mr. Anderson I renounce your people's court Okay, here it is, crazy donut um, it's just on regular A4 paper, whatever, you know, printed. Just regular printed, like if you were going to school, what not. Um, you know what, I'm gonna put it like, I'm gonna put it over here so you can see it a little bit better. Things I like about this, number one, I like that it's playful. Number two, I like that the donuts, they look very delicious to me. I would go and buy up all the donuts, except for the bear. I feel weird eating the bear. Um, yeah, it says one free donut for you and a friend. If you can actually find one. Oh, burn, burn all the flames. I'm the one to talk. I haven't had a friend in six years, maybe. Whatever, haters gonna hate, potatoes gonna potate. Me, I'm just gonna master the art of design. <laughs> trick you, trick you, trick you, trick you. Things I think could be better. Um, the regular text with one free donut for you and a friend. It's good, but it doesn't fit in with the rest of the font. I feel like if I just like illustrated that as well, then it would have been a little bit more cohesive. That color's good because that's kind of an important part you wanna read, that's the thing that gets you to the crazy donut shop. The promise of a free donut for me and my friend. The crazy and then donut, I can see why the designer did this so that the crazy's up top and donut so you can like read the words really well. But that gap in between crazy and donut, is, there's just nothing there. And so then it makes you wonder, well, why is there, there shouldn't be a gap there. So I feel like either there should be something between those, or you put those words together, and then maybe have the donut bear on the right, or maybe the donut bear becomes the O in crazy donut, something like that. Maybe just make it feel a little bit more cohesive. Overall, I would give this a, Seven out of 10. It's not bad, seven out of 10. What would you rate it on a scale of one to 10? Give me your feedback and I hope you're pumped as I am. The design time is back. It's gonna be out every Tuesday. So keep watching every Tuesday, it'll be here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have had a couple of fantastic weeks and I really hope that you're pursuing your passions. And maybe not only just your passions, but you, whatever you feel like is your role in life, I hope you're pursuing that. Don't ever give up. Never give up, never surrender. I'm Tim Allen. This has been Design Time. Stay awesome, possum, and I'll catch you later, alligator. Bye-bye.